Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning how to make Chinese paper lanterns and we're going to be learning all about the Lantern Festival. The Spring Lantern Festival is celebrated on the 15th day of the first month of the Chinese calendar. It is the culmination of the two week long Chinese New Year celebration. The Lantern Festival is a night of celebration with friends and family, eating traditional foods, dragon dances and releasing colourful lanterns into the night sky. Chinese paper lanterns often bear traditional Chinese imagery such as fruits, flowers, birds, animals, people and buildings. The colourful paper lanterns can be seen everywhere from shopping malls to parks to personal homes. For our project today, you're going to need some cardboard, a pencil, a ruler, some scissors, some glue, some paint and some permanent markers. You might like to also add some sequins or glitter, some stickers or any other decorations of your choice. Start by cutting a 3cm strip off the shorter end of your cardboard. This is going to be the handle of your lantern, so you'll need it later on. Start by drawing whatever design you'd like on your lantern. I'm doing a cherry blossom tree as the lantern festival takes place in spring. But you could use other Chinese symbols such as koi fish or a dragon or writing. Anything that's relevant and authentic to the Chinese culture. You may also want to consider what colours you use. For example, I'm using red as red is considered a lucky colour and is often used to celebrate the Chinese New Year. Black, white and gold are colours that are also often used in Chinese art. Once you're happy with your picture, it's time to fold your cardboard. Fold it end to end lengthways down the middle of your cardboard, making sure that the corners are touching each other and that it's equal on both sides. We sometimes call this a hot dog fold because it looks like one of those long hot dog rolls. Now this is the important part. We need to measure the slits that we want to cut for our lantern. So the first measurement you make is going to be 3 centimeters. That's going to give you enough of a width to be able to staple your lantern together. Once you've measured your first 3 centimeter measurement, you're then going to make them 2 centimeters each. So count in twos from the beginning all the way to the end of the paper. Make sure that you are measuring accurately so that your strips meet up with each other. Remember the points on the top need to meet the points on the bottom. And eventually what we're going to do is we're going to join them up. Before we do that, we need to measure the top and the bottom of our lantern because we don't want to cut the strips all the way through. So you're going to allow about a two centimeter gap along the edge of your paper. So when you join your lines up, you're going to stop at that two centimeter line. Keep joining up those marks until you get to the end of your paper. Once you're ready to start cutting, remember to hold your paper firmly and to cut carefully along each line until you get to the 2 cm line. Don't go beyond that border. Cut each line exactly the same all the way through the length of your paper, right to the end. Once you finish cutting the slits into your paper, then you're going to fold it around in the opposite direction so that the two short ends of your cardboard join up. Try to join them up nice and evenly so that the top and the bottom match up perfectly. Once you're happy that they've joined up, then you may take a stapler and staple the ends together. If you don't have a stapler, you can use sticky tape or glue to do this as well. Once you've stapled your lantern together, you want to push it down slightly to give it that lantern shape. Now it's time to add the handle. Pop the handle onto the inside part of the lantern and once again using your stapler or sticky tape or glue, attach the handle to the lantern. Music 
And there we have it, a beautiful paper Chinese lantern. If you've enjoyed this project, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and keep being creative.